when your wife says, hey, it's supposed to be sunny down at Cannon Beach, let's take a drive. You jump at the chance. So we jumped in the Jeep and we headed out down through Portland, coming past Camp 18, which is a pretty neat logging museum. We decided, let's stop here and have lunch. Well, that was a good choice. Ate well, enjoyed the scenery, and the weather kept getting better. Beautiful log building. They've just huge beams across the top. Old rail cranes, old steam donkeys, logging arches, old caboose, a few old cats. Well worth the slow down and stop there to enjoy the visit. Well, we went to Cannon Beach. We actually dropped a little further south to Arcadia Beach. We drew the drone up, took a little flight, just to enjoy it. Heading for low tide. We had about an hour and a half to go to low tide. Love watching the waves come in. <coughs> now we're down at Fort Stevens. Here's a gentleman setting up, getting ready to launch his paraglider. Hope I've got the right name. You gotta be in pretty good shape to be able to work those things. Now we watch him go up the hill and prepare to launch. There's a wave just runs along the hillside there, hits the beach and just goes up and it's a pretty narrow area. He's got a pretty tight spot he's got to hit. You can watch him dancing back through the driftwood, <coughs> trying to get up to the spot. Now he's got to go up and find the magic. And you see it's giving him some lift so it's making it a little easier for him to run up the hill. It makes him look like he's just gliding along. says where's that wave where's the lift he's looking for it he's looking for it is it there no no yeah, I know that it's here somewhere I've done it before he says Watch him here. He's going to get cagey. He's got a plan. There it is. And he's off. Flying through the air with the greatest of ease. Here comes another one passing through. Looks so peaceful and relaxing when they're up there. They would just walk back and forth right along that wave. Just know where it ends so that they don't get out of it. When we first got there they were going way down the beach and coming back. And you can see the one way down there right now. Now here's energy unharnessed. Kids climbing the hill so they can run back down the hill. Gliding through the air, just swinging free in the basket. Some of this I filmed with my Olympus still cameras, video camera. Most of it I filmed with the drone. This was actually shot from the ground. You can see the difference in perspective. Here we see all three of them down there. Two of them are trying to get up and one's already in the air. 
from the visual perspective with the longer lens, it looks like they're these first two are right on top of each other, but they're really there's a little separation, even though it looks like he puts his feet right out on it. Flying like birds. See him just riding along on the wave. Sometimes it takes a little perfection to get it going. A lot of people on the beach today. A lot of people are out digging clams. This is one of the few places on the Oregon coast where you can drive on the beach and there's about a 10 mile strip along Fort Stevens basically goes from the jetty all the way down about 10 miles south. And there's an output point down there too where you can drive out. We actually came the opposite and drove in and followed the beach up. Didn't make it up to the jetty this time. The jetty is at the mouth of the Columbia River. See him take a run, and he's trying to get the lift, but it's just not there. Even though he pulls his feet up, is he going to make it? It doesn't look good. Now, he's going to put his feet down, and he's going to have to try it again. Kind of like flying a kite. The first time you lift off, it doesn't always take off. Sometimes you need a little help. Well, he's going back up the hill and he's going to try her again. If I was him, I think I'd move over to the right where my buddy's got the wave. See a couple of bikes down there on the beach. You'd think bikes and sand would be hard riding, but most of the sand down there is hard packed from the moisture. Here, buddy, let me help you. Here we see the Peter Iredale, the old wreck ship from, I think it was early 1900s. For a while, we could see most of the hole in the sand, but now the sand has covered it back up again. Now we just see what I would guess is the bow sticking up. Riding the wave. Wind was a whistling, so that's just what the boys needed for the gliding along. Got like a little chair in there that he, once he gets set up, he kind of relaxes in the chair. See, mastered the turn. Where's he going on? Nope, he's going to make a turn. We and around we go and back again. Does that look like fun?
and the turn again. He swoops back for another run. You know, part of this was the drone, part of it was my cameras down below, standing on the ground. This name just to say it was a drone shot. All of these were shot with the Mavic 3 Pro with a 8 ND nuclear uh, neutral density filter. Just looks so magical just to swing through the air. Spins around and rides that wave again. You can't see it, but he must be able to feel it or know where it is. He's got it dialed in. There was a few times when he just came zipping down along there. magical turn there. Yeah, you get bored, you can turn it off, but I enjoy watching it. I know there'll be a few others that do too. I think most people's attention spans about 15 seconds, so they never got this far. Like I said before, a lot of the cars parked along the beach and pickups are people out digging for clams. Can't think of a better way to spend a Friday afternoon than sitting here watching these guys go back and forth. It wasn't too long after this my wife announced that she'd finished her book on her Kindle and it was time to go. But I drug it out a few more minutes just because I couldn't give up on the fascination of watching them go by and 
hoping I was capturing something useful. Be the pits if the wind just quit all of a sudden, wouldn't it? 